the Honorable Mayor John Gale, coming up on the O'Roy Show. Welcome to a very unique show today. I have the pleasure of having our Valdosta's Mayor, John Gale, right here across from him. Welcome to the show, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Roy. I'm enjoying it and looking forward to the rest of the show. <laughs> well, look, you were elected in... Well, well I was, the uh, election was 2011. I started serving in 2012. Mm -hmm. So I'm completing my fourth year now. Right. Okay, so you're running for re-election. I am, yeah. Why? <laughs> well, you know, when I ran four years ago, I I really didn't uh, have any agenda. I had some people come to me and ask me to run. Mm -hmm. I had uh, mentioned to them that I needed something to do. I had sold my business for the second time, and and I was a seven to seven uh, workaholic, mm -hmm. and uh, and I just needed something to uh, take my time, and. Uh, so I had these businessmen that said, you know, and, and if you remember the mayor, previous mayor mm -hmm. was in a little bit of trouble at that time. Right. Some people were giving him fits and uh, and they felt like I would be a good uh, person to kind of mend fences mm -hmm. and, and move ahead. Uh, I turned them down a lot and uh, they finally twisted my arm and I ran and I really enjoyed it. It's a very rewarding job. Mm -hmm. uh, you do have the the criticisms and the people that don't think you know what you're doing and they think their idea is always the best. And one thing I'm good at is listening to others mm -hmm. and uh, and then considering their ideas. And people feel like that I'm you know, willing to listen and willing to hear them out. And I mm -hmm. think that's one good thing. But I've really enjoyed it. I've turned it into a full-time job because uh, right. yeah. I have an office to go to and I go there in the mornings and I stay until I get through answering emails or studying. I've had to do a lot of studying mm -hmm. because I didn't have the privilege of serving on the council before and getting some background on right. a lot of this stuff. So, what are, what are some of the things that you're you're proud of? Some of your accomplishments? Well, I'm very proud of, of course, of our uh, solving our our sewage and wastewater now problems. I was going with that. Yes, yeah, that. that's our that's been our big thing. We are almost to the point of finishing the project of the Force Main and the wastewater treatment plant. And it's going to be close to $60 million when we're all finished. Mm -hmm. So I'm very proud of that. Um, you know, there's a lot of things. One of my main platforms was to do away with downtown truck traffic. I have failed in that. I so, was going to touch on so that. That's going to be one of my questions. So yeah. far, I have failed on it. But last Friday, uh, we had another meeting with DOT, and they're finally beginning to realize the problem that the trucks, through trucks, right. in downtown cause. So they are willing to work with us now. That's and, wonderful because, you, so. you know, one of the things that I always hear is, you know, like Valdosta's downtown is nothing like Tifton's or Douglas. Mm -hmm. or, and and it's a, we have a beautiful downtown, but it, it really does seem like there's something always tearing through it or, you right. know, and, it, yeah. and it is those big trucks. See, they we don't have about a lot. And we have no authority right. over those. We can, yeah. Those are federal highways, US. U.S. 84 and, and Highway 41 are mm -hmm. federal and state highways. So we cannot stop them. The only way we can stop them is if we build a bypass. Mm -hmm. And then once we build a bypass, then uh, then we have the authority to, to stop those trucks from coming through the mm -hmm. business district at that time. You, you talked about how you've uh, basically have turned the mayor's office into a full-time job. Mm -hmm. And I've always personally thought that's how it should be anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, do you feel there's a disconnect between the citizens of Valdosta and, and the city officials? And, and, and if so, how can we bridge that gap, mm -hmm. you know? I don't really feel there's a disconnect because so many of our, uh, I mean, our council and our staff people at the city are involved in the community and they know, they have friends that, mm -hmm. that are in the community and they mix and mingle with them. So I don't really feel like there's a disconnect. Mm -hmm. I think there's sometimes 
a problem with the citizens understanding how much our hands are tied right. sometimes. They think that I can just wave a wand over any problem. Yeah. And uh, But they don't realize that the city council has probably voted on this particular mm -hmm. item and they've put it in force. And so the only way I can change it is to get their approval to change it. Right. You know? And it's the same way with the council members. How, how do you think uh, would be, what would be a good way of bringing more citizens or, or involving more citizens right. in the decision-making processes of, of our local government? Well, there's several ways. We're always, you know, we have 26 boards and commissions mm -hmm. in the city. Uh, I'm talking about, of course, you've got planning commission, and you've got the right. construction board of appeals, and you've got the downtown development authority and, and organizations like this. And we're always looking for volunteers to fill those positions. Mm -hmm. It's a good way of finding out what goes on. And, of course, the best way to do it is uh, is come to our city council meetings. Right. And, and we encourage people to come. We have very few people that show up at our city council meetings to hear what's going on and how we handle different affairs. Um, one of the things I wanted to ask you is there's a slogan on our water tanks, and it says Valdosta a city, without, a city limits. without limits. What does that mean to you? Well, I think it means that, and Valdosta has always been very, very good at welcoming people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's with our uh, Moody Air Force Base and with our college. Of course, the college is in the middle of downtown Valdosta, and, and uh, we encourage all of the activities that the uh, university, I call it a college because it was when I went there, but yeah. uh, the university, we encourage their activities. And we've always been welcoming to our to our military folks. Um, that's evidenced by the fact that so many of the past wing commanders have come back here to retire. Mm -hmm. So Valdosta, there's, I mean, we just we have no limits. We're we were the fastest growing city in Georgia during the past census, yeah. you know, and we're still growing. And people are flocking here, retail businesses and things like that to come to do business in Valdosta. So it's just a matter of, uh, of we we don't have any any bars put up. We don't have anything out at the edge of town saying right. you can't come in or anything like well, that. Well, and, and you know, um, society in general, you know, there's a lot of things that, that have changed even since you were elected the first time. Sure. You know, there's mm -hmm. the gay marriage thing mm -hmm. and there's all this, you know, the, the immigration mm -hmm. problems and things like that. So, you know, there's so many things that's going on. And uh, and then when you look at our sign, it says, you know, Valdosta, a city mm -hmm. without limits. And that really is an encouraging, I think, slogan, you know, for, for ourselves, you know, being in the film industry, for instance, sure. we've been... Sure. Pushing, 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 mm -hmm. trying to get the film industry to grow here and not necessarily looking for our leaders to bring in another film industry. It's basically let them getting mm -hmm. you guys to jump on board with us and help us to grow. Right. Uh, you know, as you know, you know, um, you have Wiregrass and you have VSU. They both have mass media departments and they're educating mm -hmm. these students that are coming here to fulfill jobs that these this industry mm -hmm. needs. And we personally, if we had the resources, could hire 10, 15, 20 people, sure. you know, and push, you know, movies out left and right. And and not just horror flicks or whatever, you know, I'm talking about anyone that has a script and would like to see a movie made. You know, uh, there's been a huge success in Albany, Georgia, mm -hmm. with the Christian-based movies that are yes, filmed there. you're right. I've, and, I've and, seen one of those. You know, yeah. we're, we've opened up to mm -hmm. all of that. You know, and that's what the film industry is about. It's not just one that's genre. True. That's true. I mean, it's that's everything. True. Well, you mentioned, uh, of course, you know, Valdosta, another example of us being a city without limits is yeah. Valdosta was the first city in the state to have a marriage of a same-sex couple. That's right, so, yeah. You know, uh, so we we have no limits now. Uh, and, and you know, you and, know. and that's, to be, uh, that's to be commended, uh, marriage, whoever, uh, I'm, I love being single, so, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, that that's good that the city could um, just kind of like, okay, yeah, that's the law, whatever, go on, you know, yeah. don't well, dwell I, on I it. I mean, you know. I have my own beliefs. Right, about and everyone that, does. And everyone yes, does. Yeah. But we don't stop you know, anybody from from having a, a festival or whatever. Right. Yeah. You know, I 
I have personally uh, been opposed to doing proclamations for the LBGT community. Right, right. But that's that's my own thing. Mm -hmm. That's not the city. Yeah. Know. And um, I guess, uh, really, uh, your position is kind of like mine. You know, I have some, I have, uh, some people come on, you know, they're uh, uh, the LBGT, you know, uh, LGBT, and they, they want to come on and talk about the issues. Then I have people from Cross Point Church wants to come on and talk about their right. thing. They're doing That's right. I, I love that. Sure. That's why sure. I love doing this so much is because yeah. you can, you know, and, and you learn so much about everybody. Right. Yeah. You do, and everybody's different. And thank God we are all different. What well, a boring us, world this I would mean, be if we were all the same. Sure. So. I mean, we've got so many uh, titles. Right. You know, we've got Title Town, now, Wintersville. I, I was of, in the middle of know, that when we and, got that And trophy, all of so. that. And, and, of course, we've always been... Uh, Athletics has always been something special in Valdosta. Mm -hmm. It started with Valdosta High School and with right. the Wildcats being the number one, the most winningest team in, yeah. the, in the nation, you know. I remember so, watching Sunday morning when I was a oh, teenager yeah. and with Charles Corral, and on the back of his desk on the wall, it had Valdosta, Georgia Wildcats. Oh, really? And it was all these different cities oh, and okay. stuff, and, and yeah. I'll, I'll never forget that. Yeah. So that's how. But we've just got so the, many accolades. Well, I mean, we, back, so. you know, we've been uh, we've been rated in the 100 best cities to retire in. Mm -hmm. You know, we've we were ranked number six by Rand McNally a couple of years ago, being the sixth most friendliest city in right. the United States. Yeah. So we have just, uh, you know, I, I don't know what it is about people. We just, ex we accept people. Yeah. And we accept everyone. And well, uh, we're my, proud before, of that. Before my dad passed away of lung cancer, he was holding my hand and he asked me, he said, where are you going to, where are you going to live? And I'll try to get through this without getting, uh, but, uh, I said, I'll probably move to Atlanta. And he said, don't do that. Move to Valdosta. You'll make a good living. Mm -hmm. That's what he told me. And I moved to Valdosta. I don't know if I made a good living, well, but I, hope I, I that, love I hope, this town. I hope you're making I really a do. good one. I really it's do. A, it's a great place to live, and I feel passionate about Valdosta. And, you know, a lot of people have asked us, why don't we move out of town, go to Atlanta, right. you know, Jackson, or Orlando, uh, you know, New York. Los Angeles, try well, to get in the film industry. Yeah. Well, why not try to make it work here? You know, and well, it I has, was always, it can. Yeah, I, I was always partial to Valdosta's home. And uh, and I had a chance to move away when I graduated from college, mm -hmm. but I chose to stay here in a family business and I was gonna make it worth billions of dollars, you know, but that didn't happen, but right. we, we were successful. <laughs> we were successful. Uh, my son, he chose to live in Atlanta, you know, cause yeah. he, he loves that lifestyle, <laughs> I mean, I couldn't stand it. <laughs> I, I couldn't drive up there, and I don't see how the people do it. I and, lived there for eight years. Yeah, so but they don't. People that live there, it doesn't bother them. Right. Yeah. But Val, traffic in Valdosta is a problem now. I'll tell it you is. that. And, it is. And we're trying our best to solve it. You know, another thing you asked me about accomplishments. Of course, one of the first thing was the uh, Woodrow Wilson Garnto connection that moved traffic from the west, from the east side of town to the west side of town. Mm -hmm. That was a big accomplishment for us. That was the number one priority on mm -hmm. our master transportation list. Uh, but accomplishments for me, I say we, the city yeah. has done it. I haven't necessarily done it. Maybe I've come up with some ideas, but I like to say that we have done it. And well, I, I have to say one thing uh, that stands out about you is that you do stay busy. I do. And yeah. you do stay busy representing our community mm -hmm. and there's a lot to be said a, about that mm -hmm. you know may not be a hundred percent of what i agree with or whatever but at least you're trying and That's you're doing right. a and i think you're doing, doing a great thank job thank you i appreciate that right. i have uh i've tried I, i'll tell you another thing you know the the mayor and the chairman of the county commission had never gone together to washington dc mm -hmm. uh, chairman slaughter and myself for the past three years have gone to washington on behalf of Moody Air Force Base, you know, because there was a lot of talk here the last few years right. about all the sequestration and yeah. there's going to be another base closure and this, that, and other. And of course, Moody Field was very much on our mind because 6,500 people out there and it's a big That's economic right. impact and, and we can't afford to lose it. And it's been here for so, years. So we yeah. have gone on together 
and it's noticed up there the fact that we are working together and not uh, uh, separately because they told us. So we see a lot of cities and counties, they come mm -hmm. at different times, and they, in some cases, it's a waste of our time to meet with one and then, a, then another when right. y'all are together. So uh, we're proud of that. Well, I think you've done a great job. And before we close out, what would you like to say to the citizens of Valdosta? Well, of course, uh, I guess it's okay if I do a little. Uh, you go right uh, ahead. This is all about campaigning. You. <laughs> uh, you know, I have. Uh, I feel like I've done the best job that I could do. My door's always been open. I've always returned the phone calls that I get, and representing Valdosta in Atlanta and Washington, and and the leadership that I've uh, I've done. I feel like that I can do even more if I'm given another four years and. Uh, We've got a lot of things to accomplish, but uh, I just need the other four years to see to some of those things, and I just would appreciate any support and vote that I could get from the citizens. Well, there you go. Mayor John Gale, thank you so thank much you, for coming on my I show. It. I really appreciate I it. I enjoyed it. And best to yes, you, sir. my friend. Thank I hope you. to work with you some more in the film industry. Too, there you so go. Let's get that going. We Maybe will. that'll be one of the things. So. We will. Mayor John Gale, thank you so much for watching. And remember, as I always say, it's all about you. Oh, thanks. <laughs>